Well, thank you for being here, Jessica Fox. Everybody knows Jessica Fox and, and Zeke Fernandez, your cyber recruiter. Um, I, I wanted to, to have you um, share with us today some of the incredible um, successes that you're having and, 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 and what has attributed to that. You've been, um, Zeke, you've been working with Jessica. You've been a cyber recruiter for about 100 days now. And, yep. and just this last month, you know, we just transmitted this week. So for the month of July, Jessica, you had 20 gross. So you recruited 20 agents and Zeke was responsible for 15 of those hires. And, and Zeke, in the month of July, you set 45 appointments with having 36 of those appointments show up, which is an 80% show up rate, which is incredible. So I wanted uh, to get both of you here on, on, on the call and just share the, the, the um, you know, the success secrets and tips of, of how you're able to do that and, and what's transpired over the, the 100 days. Because I know when you first started out, we weren't hitting those kind of numbers. So Jessica, why don't you share with us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, Zeke started with me the last week of March. And I knew he was a superstar right away. He set 27 appointments the first week. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, wow. You know, I didn't even know what to do about that but we only had nine shows. So we knew we had to tweak, tweak, tweak. And, and it really is like any good system that you put in place. You've got to make sure you've got everything dialed in. So we discussed, do we leave messages or do we not? We don't leave messages. Um, you know, you know when, when you do this, what do we do? So we, we really decided to go into command full blown so that we could work really in tandem together. And we dialed every little part in like, okay, when we uh, set the appointment, is there some formal video message sent to them or is it like an email or whatever? And what we discovered going from having 27 appointments and nine only show to an 80% show rate was that the formal email and, uh, and all the links and all the stuff that I used to do is actually extremely recruity. And when we shifted to more of a casual um, re, like just confirmation of appointment, and I'll, I'll have Zeke kind of share what he does. Now we have a much greater show rate. So how, what do you do now, Zeke, once you set the appointment? Yeah, so once I set the appointment, I make sure that the, they know what the objective of the appointment is. Before we were, I think my approach before was too vague, just telling them we have strategies and tactics because of the daily huddles that we have, we try to regroup, we try to come up with different scripts, whatever scripts is really relevant in the market at that time, we use it. And I think that's very crucial to do. You have to make sure that you're using a more specific uh, scripts so that it'll be more specific and detailed once they set the appointment. And that'll actually improve the show rate if they really know what they're going for, for the appointment. Um, so after I set the appointment, I usually send them a calendar invite and make sure that I have the, the correct email address, send them the invite and make sure that they send an RSVP so that we'll know that we have the link, uh, so that they will know that we, they have the link um, for this Zoom so they could attend the, the appointment. Yeah, so it's really that casual. There's not this formal email that really, really, really was pushy almost if you think about it. And that's kind of just kind of relaxed the whole situation. And it matches our intention and our script, which our script is, this is not a recruiting appointment. In fact, many of the strategies Jessica shares with you, you could do at your own brokerage. You don't need to leave your company to do these. And Jessica just wants to build a relationship and earn that spot to be your fa second favorite broker if you ever needed to make a change. And it's that simple. And then they'll say, well, what, what specifically? As, as Zeke talked about, you can't be too vague. There's, they've really got to see value in this if they're going to give up their time, especially now that they're getting busy again. And so for Florida, you know, we have a, 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 a ripple effect of all the stuff going on with COVID of that we're not having our Canadian snowbird guests this year, which is about a quarter of our market, our fall, spring market. That's a big deal. And, and agents are just realizing that. And so I, I put together strategies um, you know, to offset that. So that's what he's, when, it, when, he, when they dig in and say, well, what do you mean? Why would I give up my time? He has a very specific and it's the message of the moment. So because we talk every day, we can pivot quickly and be like, oh, you know what we could talk about or what just hit the news or what's really big in our market right now. We can actually run at those changes instead of waiting for a bad week to happen when, when we maybe are off script or a message doesn't matter. 
Yeah, that's a great point. Well, things, you know, taking more listings, forbearance, uh, the default market that's coming, you know, some of those things, the snowboard, snowbird situation as well. So Z yeah, you snowboard in California. We snowbird in Florida. <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, so Zeke, so you send the, um, the calendar invite, and if they don't respond, then you text them or you call them, and then what do you do the day of the appointment? Yeah, so the, I uh, make sure that they, so in case that they didn't respond to the, to the calendar invite, I usually call them first before I text them because I want to make sure that I really have, you know, a more engaging contact with them rather than having a text message. So on the day of the appointment, my agenda will always be call them uh, in the morning before I start my shift, call them to confirm that they have the link with them. I always assume that they will attend the appointment. Um, I don't ask them if they are available to attend the appointment. I always assume that they will. So what I do is just normally ask if you have the link with you. If not, I'll forward it to you again so that you'll have the link for the appointment. That's great. That's a real nugget. Assume the close, right? Assume the appointment. So it's not a, a um, confirmation call. It's a reminder call because you know they're coming. So that, that's phenomenal. And one of the other things, uh, lastly, that I, I know has been a big deal and to, to a big part of the success that I think is so awesome is that you're involved on a daily basis, you know, with Jessica and the communication and the huddle on the team. And can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so that, that really helps a lot because to be honest, I don't know what's going on in the market right now in their area because I'm here in the Philippines. I don't know much of the performance of their real estate agents. So by having these huddles, we were able to regroup, come up with a better action plan than what we have before. So usually Jess would orient me, she would discuss a little bit about the things happening in the market. So from there, we create a better script, a more targeted scripts for a more targeted leads. And at the end of the day, we also get to catch up and learn who's watching what on Netflix. <laughs> All right. We trade notes. So, you know, we're a team. We're part, Zeke's part of our family. You know, it's not just someone you hire and say, okay, go do that and set a bunch of appointments. This is part of your team, big yeah. part of your team and a big part of your success. And the truth is we're having such great success with this that Zeke not only sets appointments for me, but uh, Damari Rios and now um, our ever growing recruiting team, because we have so much opportunity we can just expand our bandwidth and, and really hit maybe gross 30 next month. You never know. Love that. Awesome. Well, you, obviously you're, you're having incredible success. Um, and I uh, thank you so much for your time. Any last words before we wrap up today? Plan on spending every day together for at least 10 minutes, start your shift together. And if you can't be there, who is your steady Eddie? And then the other thing is, don't be afraid to face plant for a day or two with a script that maybe not, may, may not work. But, um, you know, if you don't try new things, you won't continue to grow and evolve. Great tips. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys, for your time. And we will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.